I guess it's three sides to a story It's yours and then mine And the one we won't see for sure And that's the truth Never tell a lie Going back to the channel, you feel me? Lil' KJ back at it again, so we got another one, right? So I'ma talk to y'all a little bit about this gas mileage that I see in this, this wonderful Challenger. So, I'ma just keep it real with y'all, man. I get a car to drive a car, you feel me? Like, before this, I had three Mitsubishi Eclipses, right? I had a 2001 and an 03. And when I tell you, I think my first one ended up getting wrecked. My second one, what happened with that second one? That second one had like hella issues and it had like a, they like, they messed up like the odometer or whatever. So it was just like, nah, man, I can't, you know. So they messed up the odometer or whatever. So I'm like, nah, bro, I can't really, uh, I can't really keep this joint. You feel me? Like it's a no go. I was already having a little problems. Like it, uh, it was running through tires, man. Somebody who had the shit before had 19s on it, bro. Out here in Florida, bro, like that's not the move, bro. 19s is not the move, man. If I can tell anybody anything, bro, worst experience of my life, nigga. Like I was running through tires, like. I probably had like two, three, four different fucking sets of, of tires like within like a two to three month span, bro. I was getting tires like every month, bro. It was running through it, bro. Now, granted, I'm probably like 19 at the time, so I wasn't thinking, oh shit, maybe I need an alignment. So that's, that might have something, that might have something to do with it. But uh, that's not even what I'm trying to get at, man. Uh, so I had them, and then I got me a. Uh, uh, 2012 Honda Accord, you know, a coupe. I only do coupes, you feel me? As you can see, nothing but coupes is why I'm in this Challenger right now. So, I, I end up uh, trading out of that coupe and I get into my Challenger, which is another story. That was a long ass journey and I learned a lot about this finance world with these cars really fucking quick. That nigga, equity will eat your ass a lot, you feel me? I can talk and speak to that shit with this car. You feel me? But that's neither here nor there. So I you move on to the this this challenge is 18 challenge at 60 plus. So currently I'm looking right now and I'm averaging 21.7 miles per gallon. Right? So I'd say that's pretty decent, you feel what I'm saying? For uh, a V6, you know what I'm saying? Newer V6 or whatever, I see that's pretty decent. I know people that probably pull more out of that than me, but let me tell y'all something, man. I don't get no car and be like baby in the fuck out of no car. A car is got and it's meant to be driven, so you drive that home. That's the end of the discussion, bro. You need to drive it. So I drive my cars. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, yeah, I average a 21 mile, 21.7 miles per gallon. Truth, for, truth be told, man, the average driver, they could probably get like 25, 26 out of this. And I do a lot of highway driving. I'm saying my commute to work is, is pretty far but what i'll say to, to the gas mileage is I, it takes me probably like 45 to fill up and i'm i'm running 93 in this joint i hear people say they put 87 which is not good for your car i had my my eclipse all of my eclipse and my first eclipse i tried to put 87 in that hole and that bitch will knock it so it's not the move so i put 93 in it and uh, 45 to fill up. And it pretty much takes me through, I would say like a week, week and a half, you feel me, depending on how I'm driving. Some days I'm just like, man, I had a little, I had a fucked up day, man. I'm just running this bitch. And I'll just get on it. I'm just getting on it. I'm just running through the gas mileage, man. Cause I tell you what, when I first got this car, bruh, like I can't make this shit up. When I first got this fucking car, I'm talking about, I was, bruh, I was like running, Gas, bro. I was averaging like 14, 15, and it got so bad that I didn't realize like I was running this car so so much that I thought that was the norm. I thought 15 was good to get out of this shit, man. And then I'm finding out like people in scat packs and RTs are getting around that, and that's good for them. So it's like I had to change up some things, man. I was seeing that gas would keep me alive, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, 
You know what I'm saying? I say all that to say this, man. This car is really, really great on gas mileage. If if you're looking to have something that's, you know, nice, you got the, the muscle sporty feel. I would say full muscle, because personally, I feel like the V8 is like muscle, muscle. You know what I'm saying? This has a muscle look, but when you're driving it, man, it's more of a sporty feel, personally. You know what I'm saying? It is comfy and everything, but for a, a V6, man, and to get what you get out of this 305 horsepower, Bruh, this is definitely a good look on gas, man. Like, you'll be surprised. It outdo a lot of cars that you would uh, you would assume would be killing the numbers as far as gas mileage. So, man, if you ask me, bro, this the move, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what it is, man. So, hey, that's all I really got to say on the gas mileage, man. That's kind of my little story on my gas. You know what I'm saying? It, it went up a, a point at why we here. So, I'm at like 21.8, but... If you considering, if you thinking about getting one of these joints, just know you'll be good on gas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's tiers to this shit, these challenges. So at my tier, which is S60 Plus currently, you're looking good. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for this video, man. Um, if you if you liking what I'm putting out, you, you, you rocking with it, and there's some helpful information to you. Uh, just give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all of that.